Leave them there, leave them there, leave them there, oh, leave them there. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. If you trust and I never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. When your youthful days are gone And old age is stealing on And your body bends beneath the weight of care He will never leave you then He'll go with you till the end Take your burden to the Lord And leave him there Leave them there, leave them there, leave them there, oh, leave them there. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. Just leave them there, leave them there, leave them there, oh, leave them there. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there, oh, leave them there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. We'll take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We're going to move on and have our scripture. Amen. If you have your Bibles today, the scripture is going to come from Psalm 91. All right. Psalm 91. Okay. Dwells in secret place. Okay, Psalm 91. Uh-huh. He that dwelleth in, in the, the secret, secret place, place of the Most High mm -hmm. shall abide under the shadow of, of the, the Almighty. Almighty. I will say, say unto the Lord, Lord, He is my he refuge, refuge, my fortress, refuge. my God, and He will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from, from the, the snare of the fowler yes, and Lord. from the, the nuisance pe pestilence. pestilence. Uh -huh. He shall cover thee yes. with feathers. Under his wings shall thy trust. His, his trust shall be thy shield, shield and, and buckler. Amen. Thy shall not be afraid for the terror by night, uh -huh. nor the arrow that feathereth by oh, day. Yes. Yes nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. noonday uh -huh. A thousand shall fall at, at thy side, side, and ten thousand at thy right, right hand, hand, but it shall not it come, come nigh, nigh thee. Yes, yes, Only with thy eyes shall thy behold, yes, and see the reward of the wicked, mm -hmm. because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Amen. Thy shall no evil befall thee, mm -hmm. neither shall any plague come so nigh thy Amen. dwelling. Amen. For he shall give his angels Charge charge over thee, over thee the to keep thee in all thy ways. Thank you, I have Jesus. read Psalm 91 verses 1 through 11. Yes, Please bless Lord. the reading, hearing, and the reading of the word. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I like that verse where it says he would give the angels charge over thee. Yeah. At least thou dash thy foot against the stone. Yeah. Praise God. I'm glad that he gives the angels charge over us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. To look over us, to protect us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, how I love Jesus. Well, it's oh, how I love Jesus. Name. 
There is a name I love to hear. Oh, I love to sing His word. Oh, it sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Well, now it's oh. Verse number four, he tells of one whose loving heart can feel my deepest woe, who in each sorrow bears the part that none can bear below. Well, now it's all oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love you. Well, it's all oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love him. It's all oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Everybody sing now. Oh. How I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Well, it's oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Him. It's oh, how I love Jesus. Because He first loved me. Hallelujah. Yeah, Deacon Jackson, do lead us in the word of prayer. Amen. Taking Jackson. He's do okay, you want me? You want me? I'll do it. Okay, no problem. Right here. Heavenly Father, thank you, we Jesus. love you, we praise you. We, Father, we just thank you again for another day. Yes. They wake us up this morning. Yes. As we somewhere and slept, God, because we know you didn't have to wake us up, but you did. And we just thank you for that, God. We just thank you for family today, the one that's here, God, and the one that's on their way. Yeah. We just thank you for their safe travel. We thank you for getting our bus back on the road, God, and, and traveling. We just ask that they they didn't come. They, they had some people there, God, and they, they just counseled out on you. But, God, we know that we're trying and we're able, God. We just thank you. We ask you to bless the pastor today as he gives us the word, God, and for to keep us and going and, and path and our salvation in yes, our life, Lord. God. We just we just can't say it enough, God. We just ask you for your grace and your mercy, God. We just ask yes. you to bless our families, God. Let's ask you to keep them safe. Bless we just ask them that, that they get to know you, God, before it's too late. We just love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we say, Amen. 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 Praise amen. the Lord. Anywhere you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Oh, anywhere you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Well, you bless me in the morning. Yes, you bless me late at night. Anywhere you bless me, Lord, I'll be Oh, 
me. Well, you bless me in the morning. Lord, you bless me late at night. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Well, yes, you bless me in the morning. Oh, you bless me late at night. Anyway, anyway, you bless me. Anyway, Lord. anyway, you bless me. Lord. Anyway, Jesus, anyway, you bless me, Lord. I'll be satisfied. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. Amen. I'll be satisfied. We're going to open up to our testimony service for. You do have a desire to testify. You can do so at this time. Praise God. It might be a song or something on your heart to sing. You can do so at this time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless you, sir. Amen. You know, I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord today. Bless the pastor. Everyone that's here today. I was like, last week I was going to Cape Cod. But <laughs> the Wednesday before... I had, I thought it was arthritis in my foot. It was bad. I couldn't hardly walk. My so Lord. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. So, and we'll go to, so that was like Wednesday. We was going to Cape Cod on Monday. And I said, I got to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And I went to the doctor, and he looked at my foot. He said, well, I think it's arthritis. But he said, you got gout. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 no. I was like, oh, no. I was glad to have gout because I thought the arthritis was like, there was no heal, but the gout, at least I can get some pills or something. Yeah. So he gave me some pills and and hooked me up with my legs, my foot. I was, I was, I was able to get through it all week, but I never seen nobody glad to have gout. <laughs> oh, me either. Because <laughs> I thought, well, I couldn't even always walk. So I just just thank God for that. He took care of us. At least you're walking. A great time in Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard. Bless the Lord. And again, he just helped me walk through it. And I made it because I thought I was going to have to stay home. Yes, sir. You made testimony. it. Yes, thank you. Amen. 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 Have you got good religion? Mm -hmm. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Certainly, <laughs> certainly, <laughs> certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Oh, certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Have you got good religion? Have you got good religion? Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Certainly, 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 Lord. Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Certainly, 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 Lord. Is your name on the road? Certainly, Lord. Is your name on the road? Yeah, certainly, Lord. Is your name on the road? Yeah, certainly, Lord. Certainly, 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 Lord. Have you got good religion? Yeah, Lord. Have you got good religion? Yeah, Lord. Have you got good religion? Yeah, Lord. Yes. Yeah. Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Oh, oh, if you got that old time religion, you just ought to show some sign. If you got that fire in the Holy Ghost. You just saw to show some sign. You gotta walk right. You gotta talk right. You got to live right. You got to sing right. 
Have you got good religion? Has you got good religion? Has you got good religion? Have you got good religion? Has you got good religion? Has you got good religion? Amen. Amen. You, you know, one day that question is going to be asked to each and every one of us here. And everybody that's not in here is going to be asked that same question. God wants to know. He's coming all the way back from glory just to judge us. And if we have good religion, our word is going to be very few. Very few. If any at all. Yeah. If you got good religion, it's your name on the road. Yeah. If you did what the God say do, that you, you know, a, it, this is a man named Peter like, looking over the books. Yeah. Say so he look at the book when your name come up. If your name is not on the roll, yeah. yeah. oh my God, <laughs> depart Mama. from me. Uh-huh. Your work was of iniquity. Yeah. Mama. Tell his angels to cat, bind them hand and feet and cast them out in the outer darkness where there's weeping and gasping of teeth. Yeah. That's hell. Yeah. We, we, we don't want, we're here now because we don't want to go to hell. Amen. Have you got good religion? Lord. Have you got good religion? Yes, Lord. Have you got good religion? 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 Certainly, Lord. Certainly, I thank God for his mercy. I thank him for an opportunity to be in church. Yes, Lord. I wanted to be in church last week. I was sitting home. I was looking good. I had my church clothes on. But I missed the train. I don't want to miss I don't want to miss that train that's going to glory land. I don't want to miss that one. I missed it. I lay there my 12 o'clock, my granddaughter called me. She said, Papa, you ain't in the church. I said, I missed my ride some kind of way. She uh-huh. said, but don't worry. I'm coming by and I'm, I'm taking you to my church. That's and uh, I'm going to take you out to dinner today. This That's is wonderful. Father's Day. Yeah. She says, my granddaughter. Yeah. I say, when you think nobody don't care. When ain't nobody looking. Amen. When you don't hear no sound from all, the phone ain't ringing. Yeah. God is there. Oh, my, my, my. He watches you when you don't see him. He my see God. you. When you don't look up, he's always looking down. Boy, he got you in his eye. The, the songwriter said, his eye is on the sparrow. Yeah. Boy, I, know. I know he watches me. Yes. Those Glory. quiet times come and the devil would turn them into lonely time and would fill them up with sadness and sorrow and sickness. And, but God said, that ain't so. That's my son. I've been bought with a price. The blood of Jesus has separated me from that world. I know I'm saved. I didn't save myself. I, I couldn't. My mama loved me, but she, she couldn't do it either. I know Reverend Hall loves all of us, but he can't save one of us. God loves us, and he saves us by the power of grace divine. His mercy endures forever. I thank God this morning for just being alive and among the living. This world is so wicked. It's so ratchet out there. We don't know which way to turn or which way to go. My, 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 my. But God has called a few of us yes. and told us to bend your knees and bow your heads. And my, my, when my, you call my name, yes. you signed up. I know who you are. I know where you're at. I know my, how many beats your heart got each minute. I know how many grains of hair on your head. I know all about you. I thank God for being the God he is. My God, my, my. Dark, quiet moments, he speaks to you. Yes, he does. He don't verbally speak to you, but he speaks in your heart. Yes, he does. He re- lets you remember the words he's already said, and he's, his word is good. I love his word. I thank God for saving me. I thank God for just being in the church today. There's so many other places that everybody is. I thank God for the church itself. I thank God for each and every one of you that got a heartbeat. I thank God for you. Because if I see you, that means I got one too. God is busy. He's doing what he do. He's God. He's busy being God. Pray my strength in the Lord. My, 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 my. Wonderful testimony, Deacon. Amen.
Amen. Praise God. When you think that nobody cares, Amen. When you think that you know, you know, you just all by yourself. The Lord always sends yeah. someone. Yes. Yeah, He'll send somebody to yes. to encourage you, or there's yeah. a phone call, or yeah. either there's still small voice. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. In your mind and your heart says that it's going to be okay. Amen. Praise God. I want to sing just a little bit of this and then praise God. I just feel, you know, sometimes you feel a little slow. But you have to muster up some kind of way deep down within. You have to ask God to give you the strength and the spirit to just to get up and move. Yes. And that's what I want to do. I, I just, just pray for me. That's all. Praise God. Why should I be discouraged? Yes. And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven at home when Jesus is? My portion <laughs> Oh, constant friend Is he Oh, yes, he is Oh, his eye Is on the span And I know He watches Why should I be discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel so lonely? For heaven at home When Jesus is hey, my portion He's a constant friend Is he? Yes. Yeah. 
Go ahead, baby. Yeah. That's what you got. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, baby. Watches over yes, me. Sir. Yes, sir. Praise yes. the Lord. And that's nice to know that God has yes. us in the palm of His hand. Yes, sir. He knows all about your situation. I got it. And I'm so glad that He does. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that He does. There's some joy that we have that we cannot explain because of who God is. Sometimes you just Happy and don't know why. Just happy. Don't know why. Just there happy. Is, Pastor. Come on. Some joy on the inside. Deep on the inside. Just, just makes you feel good. Yes, sir. And when everything else around you, there's no reason I had to be so happy. But mm. God is in your life. And he just gives you this joy. Yes, sir. This feeling of thank you, Lord. Bless me, Lord. And it's just an amazing thing. And I'm so glad to be in that number, you know, yes, that knows the Lord and has this joy. Deep down on the inside. If the world had the joy that Christians had, somebody said, no, Reverend, you speak for yourself. And I, I hear you. But do I do know that many Christians have the joy of Jesus yes, sir. down in their heart. Even when they don't feel well, they can say, Lord, you let me, you let me go through this for a reason. Yes. And there's a smile on their face. Yes. And that's nice to know that God takes care, God takes care. of his children. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. Sir. I'm so glad and so thankful. Thank you, Lord. There's no day we're celebrating specifically last front, last Sunday was Father's Day. Uh -huh. yes. This Sunday is just another church day. Yes. This is the day of the Lord. Yes. Amen. And we shall rejoice yes, sir. and be glad. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Just the day of the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Praise God. Now, there's a song in, in the hymn that we got in 187. In times like these, uh -huh. I know we... I'm good, I'm good. I know that we haven't sung this in a long time, but we, I believe we can get through it. I, I, because this is where we are today. In times like these. There's some rough times going on. Some difficult times. But God is with us in times like these. Amen. We're going to try to be a little up pace with this if we can. Amen. 187 in your, in your hymn book. In times like these, you need a Savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure. Yeah. 
Responsive reading 579. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah. Greetings, saints, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It's always good to lay eyes on the saints and uh, know that God is still moving in your, in your lives. Uh, some of you got big smiles on your face. I think you understand what the pastor was singing about in times like these. I tell you, listen to the news reports and yeah. the world. Uh, conditions. It can be pretty depressing sometimes, but if you don't have hope, I don't know what you turn to. You turn to money and it will fail. You turn to people and they're going to not come through all the time. But in times like this, we definitely need a Savior. God can be depended on. He yes. is always trustworthy. What he says he will do, he will accomplish it. It may not happen when we want it, but as they say, he's always right on time. Amen? We love God for how he continues to make himself present in our lives and make himself visible before us. Uh, Pastor, allow me to say a few words about BBS before doing the invocation prayer. Just want to remind you about Vacation Bible School is coming up this Tuesday and this Wednesday at 6 o'clock right here in the sanctuary. Hope that you can make it. It's for adults and kids. Everybody is invited. Um, for the volunteers, I'm asking that you get here 30 minutes early because there's a little bit of uh, prelude stuff I want to do with you. We have some re light refreshments for you when you arrive. And just to get us ready so when our guests arrive, we are already here to greet them and make them feel re warm and received in this place. 
Um, I'll say that for later for some other people that are not here today. So anyway, let me go on with the invocation uh, prayer. As often I do, I, I turn to the Word of God to inspire what to pray for. And today I pulled on Psalm 143, verse 10. And there you find these words recorded by the psalmist. He says, teach me to do thy will. Yes. For thou art my God, thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. My beloved, is with that as a backdrop, let us bow our heads in the presence of God as we now go to the throne of mercy. Heavenly Father, God Almighty, we're just delighted to be able to come together and assemble one more time. Yes. We don't know what the rest of the day holds, but we know who holds our future. Yes, sir. And nothing can happen to us that thou doesn't either decree or allow. And knowing that your love for us is inexhaustible, yes. whatever come our way, we know our God is on our side. Yes. So Lord, we come, we assemble this day in obedience for you in your word said that we ought to assemble and not be like others. Yes. God, we come and bow in humility because, Lord, you are God and we are not. We come, God, we embrace and feel your embrace, oh God, in points of desperation sometimes. We, we follow sometimes God in blindness, but we don't always see which way to turn. We come, God, and we come and we pray in surrender, though, we relinquish all that we are and all that we have to do. For God, we know that you have us in your heart. Yes. We know that your desire is that none should perish, but that all should come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Thank you. So God, we, we learn in our, our limitations. For we're not all brilliant, we're not all geniuses, Lord, but whatever faculties you have given us, mm -hmm. you have shown enough of yourself, God, that we can get a glimpse of the heavenly, the, the heavenly Father that, that brought us out of darkness into marvelous light. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord, for only you can do that. We ask, God, that you would see it fit to visit with us this day in our worship experience. Mm -hmm. That you would open our minds to see what we could not see on our own. Yes. That you would make our hearts receptive of the things that we could not uh, ascertain or understand on our own. And that you would cause it to, to become rooted deeply in us, Lord. That, that not just for this experience and for the hour that we might spend together, God, but for the rest of this day, for the rest of this week, for the rest of this month, for the rest of this year, for the rest of our lives, God, that you might continue to resonate in us yes. and cause us to stay close with thee. For we do want to walk upright yes. in the land of uprightness, oh God. We're grateful to you for so many things, God. Help us express that gratitude and worship today. Teach us, God. Lead us, bring us forth that thou see fit. We are your people because you declare you are our God. Have your way in this service. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our, our responsive reading, 579. I don't know about you all. I'm getting a little warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take my jacket off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have this thing together real soon. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get through this thing. Praise the Lord, church. Faith. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. For, for by this elder obtain, obtain good, good report. report. Through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do not appear. By, by faith, faith, Abel offered unto God, God a more excellent, excellent sacrifice, sacrifice than Cain, 
by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testified of the gifts, and by it being dead, yet speaking. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because of God had translated him for before his translation, for he had his testimony that be he be pleased by God. But by faith, faith, faith is it faith possible to please him. him. For, for he that, that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that they he seek him. him. By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen, as yet moved with fear, prepared not to the savings of the house by which he condemned the world and became heirs of righteousness, which is by faith. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should, should have received for an inheritance, obeyed and he went out not knowing whither he went. By faith, he should join in the land of promise, as in the strange country dwellings in the tabernacle, where Isaac and Jacob, hers with him of the same promise. Together, for he but looked he for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is God. God. Amen. Amen. Be not dismayed, Whatever be time, God will take care of you. Be not If I perish, oh, perish, I am going, I am going to see the King. If I perish, if I perish, if I perish, Oh, 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 oh,
If my mother don't go, father don't go, sister don't go, brother don't go, I'm going to see the king. If my mother, if my mother don't go, father don't go, sister don't go, brother don't go, I'm going to see the king. Sometimes up. Sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes level to the ground. Yes, I'm going to see the king. Sometimes up, sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes level to the ground. I am going, I am going to see the king. And if I perish, if I perish, if I perish, if I perish oh, perish, oh, perish, I am going, I am going to see the king. If I perish, if, if I perish, perish, if I perish, oh, If I perish, yes, sir. if anything happened to me, it's going to be all right. Because I'm going what? What? to see the king on my way to glory. Amen. That's where we are today. We're on our way to heaven. We're one step at a time. That's all right. Going up old Jacob's ladder. Uh -huh. One step at a time. That's what we're doing. Some of, them are, some of us have a little head in the others, but we're on our way. On our way. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This time we're going to ask if Sister Bell would uh, read our announcements and, uh, and welcome our guests. We have a guest here. I think there's one over there, but just in case, this is my hand right here. Look this way. Yes, ma'am. Welcome, everyone. Good, thank you. Glad to be with you today. All right. Glad you're here with me, too. Oh, <laughs> June 28th, 6 to 8, vacation 28th and 29th, Tuesday and Wednesday. 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., vacation Bible school for children and adults. Mm -hmm. June 30th, 3 to 5, bus leaves at 1.30, going to Ch Chesapeake Boat trip, 43 dollars a person, maximum of 20 people. The month of July and August, the Mass Choir will be on vacation as far as regular service worship. Both male and Mass Choir are requested to sing at Clarkfield Union Wesley Camp during the first Saturday of August. The bus will be in operation for that trip. The male choir will sing the month of July, and we will use soloists during the month of August. August 28th, Fox Point, reserve a service at the park that starts at 12 p.m., <coughs> where we have our church picnic. There will be a sign-up sheep in the vegetable. And I just want to take a minute to thank you all for whatever contributions and donations that you make. They are greatly appreciated. Now, our sick and shut-in, Mothers Dozer, Harris, Friend, Parker, and Hayes, Sister Diane, Anita, Karen, Lucinda Hall, Allen, Trina, Charlene Triplett, Rosalind, First Lady Hall, Marla Marshall, Kareem Handy, and Sister Small. Amen. Deacon Jackson, Rose Payne, Marilyn Jackson, and Shia. Raheem, Ronald Nolan Jr., Ellsworth William, Williams, and Brother Lum. Families are Smith, Lum, Bell, Holland, Hall, Shanice. Y'all know what I always say, all family. Amen. Y'all have a blessed week. Amen. And we'll put Mother Harris on there. Her name wasn't there. I didn't hear it, but yeah. it's all we we'll pray for her. And Juan Davis, my daughter. Okay. 
Deacon Jackson, you want to lead us in prayer? Oh, if any guests are here, please acknowledge yourself. Even if you're online and you're a guest. See you, sir. What's your name? Stand up, please. Corey. 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 Welcome, Corey. All right. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Sometimes those songs are sing. You can't turn them off when you want a song in, but they keep going on inside. <laughs> if I perish. Oh, I perish. Yeah. I'm going to see the king. Yeah. Amen. Mother don't go and father don't go. Yeah. In the 50s, there was a song written. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I was a young man, young boy in the 50s. It was called He. He. Amen. Can turn the tides and calm the angry sea. He alone decides who writes the symphony. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He can take the time to hear a child's first prayer. Yes. Whenever a sinner calls, they'll always find him there. Oh. Songwriters have found these words and put in there. You know what they're talking about. We've always come down that same road. Yeah. We were always once sinners and God called us and we heard the voice and we came. Mm -hmm. Well, the same God is listening this morning. He's listening to our hearts. He's watching our lips, mm -hmm. how we live. We are concerned about one another. Yeah. From our sick list, I didn't hear the list. But from our sick list, God knows every member. He knows every condition. He knows every situation. Yes. He knows where you live. He even knows your phone number. Mm -hmm. He knows what you did and what you didn't do. Uh -huh. I thank God for him this morning. Yes, By his grace and mercy, let's go to the throne of grace. <coughs> Eternal God. Oh, Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in yes. all the earth. God who made creation, yes. who made the worlds, mm -hmm. the sun, the moon, and the stars. Yes. Caused the wind to blow. And mm -hmm. When we stand up, we're standing on the ground, and we don't know where it comes from. The word of God says, he made that. Yes. Every square inch of air from the ground going up mm -hmm. it's called the ferments mm -hmm. it's a he made that too mm -hmm. everything that is made is made by God Amen. he made you he made me mm -hmm. our brothers and sisters that are not here that can't be here because of their inf infirmities mm -hmm. Lord we come to you this morning yes. <clears throat> we come to you knowing that you hear every word we come to you knowing that you care about every situation. Yes. We know, Heavenly Father, when we were hungry, you gave us food to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When we were thirsty, you gave us strength. Yes. Satisfied our thirst. When we were lonely, you let us know that Jesus is our friend. Yes, sir. When we needed a God on our side. You let your words stick in our mind and let us know that if we call you, you'll always be there. Yes, sir. Thank you. I thank you this morning, Father, for the opportunity to be in the church today. Mm -hmm. I thank you this morning, Heavenly Father, for every beating heart that's here today. I thank you for every voice yes. that have heard your voice come unto me. <coughs> All ye that's laboring heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Yes. I thank you for my mother and my father, Lord, who led me, started me on on this road a long time ago. I got off a couple of times, which wasn't wise, but then you called me back again, and I, I come running back to you. Oh my God. And I, I thank you for your mercy. You, yes. you watched over me, and you've been watching over me a long time. Yes. 80 years since 1942. Mm. I contribute nothing but breathing. That's the only thing I contribute. Yes. Oh. Your goodness and your mercy, Lord, it yes. watched all over me. Mm. Where I went, what I did. Heard what I said, blessed me anyway, then told me if I confess my sins, 
Hallelujah. He's just. He would forgive me of my sins yes. and he would cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Yes. Oh my God, who wouldn't serve a God like this? Yes. Lord, we come this morning as Solid Rock Baptist Church with a humble heart this morning. Yes. We come hungry this morning because we need your word, Lord. Yes. We're living in this world, Lord, it's like it's spinning backwards sometimes. Yes, we can't figure it out. The confusion is so Violence is so. Hatred is so. Racism is such. We call on your holy name because you are our God. Yeah. You, you, you know what is and what is not to be. You told us that we'll hold on just a little while longer. Things going to be all right. If we hold on just a little while longer, Jesus is coming. Yeah. He's going to judge this world for what it is. He ain't going to create no new laws. All the laws that he's going to judge us by is here right now today. Mm. Loving you one another. Honor thy father and mother. Yeah. Not committing adultery nor fornication. Yes. Not hating our neighbors. Mm. Not covering our neighbors. Yeah. Coming to our hearts, oh Lord, this night. Coming to our service this morning. Please, God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in here. In yeah. each and every heart. Lift us up, oh Lord, when we, yeah. we get a little weak sometimes. We slump down and we slow down. But you are, you are our Father who are in heaven. And we yeah. know that you got the power to lift us up, oh God, and turn us around, Lord. Yeah. If we're going in the wrong direction, straighten our direction, oh Lord. Please, God. If we told a lie, forgive us. If we didn't love our neighbors like we love ourselves, forgive yeah. us. Teach us, oh Lord. Please. Forever teach us. How to walk the way you want us to walk. Give us a clean heart. A right spirit. Give us that love that you promised. That love that surpasses all understanding. Then oh Lord when our dying days has come. And we can no longer do anything else here on terra firma here. We can do nothing, nothing, nothing at all. We asking you Lord give us a home eternal in the kingdom. But we can praise your name hallelujah forevermore. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Oh, soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Offering, please. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King.
so much going on in life right now. And it's not even stuff that has anything to do with me. It's just what I love, I love hard. And I refuse to turn my back on a child that's been my baby before I had babies. And um, it's like the devil is working. Mm. And the church is all like that. That's what? I was raised in church. This is all I know. So I came here because I left that job today. And on my way here, the administrator called my phone, but I didn't answer. But I listened to her message. I was in the parking lot. And she said, Tiffany, this is her name. And she said, I'm sorry, but this is the second time you did this within two weeks. I'm sorry, but you're terminated. I had already told them before I left. This is it for me. I can't do it. I take care of my grandma, and I have a second job that I start um, full time in June, I mean, July. So I wasn't really worried about this job because I only work two days a week and every other weekend. But to make a long story short, I'm here today because I need prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, I'm so so tired. I'm so tired. It's like the friends that I thought I had was never my friends. Mm. And no matter what, I still love them, but I can't deal with them no more. And Corey, thank you for coming because this is for you too. I'm praying for your whole family. You hear me? I'm praying for your whole family because what's going on right now is really sad. But God works in mysterious ways because that's how I was taught. Yeah, he does. And if it's for the better for me to leave people where they at, that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. Amen. Because I've been through so much in my life. I beat cancer. I beat cancer. Yeah. I didn't think I would be here today. Oh my God. And when I went through that, the friend that I thought was my friend was not there for me. Mm. But I still was her friend afterwards because that's my friend. Mm. But now I see she's going out my play. So I'm going to leave that in the Lord's hands. Yeah, but if y'all could just pray for me, yeah. her family, my family, just keep me in prayer, please. Well, come up the front, uh, Jimmy. We're going to pray for you. We, we will. We, it's always, prayer time is always available. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just going to sit down. Have a seat on Reverend Marsh, come with me. You know, this world is full of trouble. So no matter where you turn, we won't fight you. But you gotta have somebody with you. You gotta be walking. You can't be walking alone. You know, people, like you said, will be with you for a while, but they're, they're limited as to their capacity. But God will never leave you on the same He'll be with you. But you gotta, you gotta live with him. You gotta live with him. He's a real God. The Bible says his eyes are over the righteous, and he attended to their cry. That's what he does. But you gotta have him. You gotta stick with him as he sticks with you. Yes, yes. Lord, we ask your blessing on Tiffany God. But we don't know all the details, and it doesn't matter. What we know is that you are able to do. It. All things exceedingly and abundantly and above all. You have the power, God, yes. to fix the stuff that's in her life. Yes. To change her heart. Yes. To fix her heart. To, to those around her to make them be either with step with you or without step somewhere going. God, we ask your blessing on her life. Lord, bless her with a job that you say she should have. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that she's willing to to tell her story. Now God, go with her. Strengthen her. Bless her children. Be by her side, God. My God. Let her know that you've never left her. Yes, sir. Nor have you forsaken. Yes. We thank you, God, for her. Now God, go with her. In the name of Jesus. In the rich name of Jesus. Bless right now. We claim victory over her life. In the name of Jesus. Get behind her face. We thank you. And now we say amen. 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 God bless you.
I do have to say this. This is a, a busy week coming up here at Solid Rock. And I, I just want to clear up, make sure that we are all aware. Thank you, Jesus. The announcements were read, but I want to remind you. Vacation Bible School is on Tuesday yes. at 6 o'clock. Yes. Try to make it. Yes. Try to bring your grandchildren if you have any grandchildren. But you as an adult, we have an adult class too. Yes. And I, I think you're going to like the, the adult class. Uh, I kind of took excerpts from some things. And I... Is life different than you expected? No. <laughs> Is life different oh, than yeah. you expect? <laughs> and I think many of us would say, yeah, this is not what I expected. Come on, man. But I remember the old saying when I was a kid, the, the old song that says, uh, Mama said that would be days like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, life, if is life different than you expect? Now, we're going to try, if we can, to see that everybody who wants to come to Vacation Bible School will get to Vacation Bible School. Uh, we're, we're, we're working on the bus thing for that, for, for those who need it. We're going to try to do that. But we want you to come to Vacation Bible School. And um, I'm sure you're going to have a, a, a good time uh, celebrating and the, uh, greeting with one another and plus the Word of God. You will have a good time. And uh, our culinary ministry will have a little repast for you. So we want you to come and enjoy and, and share. Now that's Tuesday mm -hmm. and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay? On Thursday, the bus is leaving here 115. 115, the bus will be leaving for the trip. The, bu the uh, boat trip that we're taking. Mm -hmm. It will be leaving and we'll be promptly leaving because we got a, about an hour ride there, there about. So we have to be on time to get everybody there. Amen? All right. So those who, who are driving, uh, you know, you can leave before us, obviously. But uh, I think if you have any questions of how to get there, ask Sister Diane. She has the address, and you can put it in your phone and, and get yourself there. Amen? So we want that. So this is the week that we're coming in through here. Um, I got a call on, uh, what day did we do the bus, Brother Bell? Was that Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. Uh, I got a call on Wednesday morning. Uh, you don't know who you, who's going to come asking and, and the Lord's going to send you on. I was preparing to go downstate. I, I been trying to do there, but it's been raining almost every day down there. and It rained here, but every time I call there, it's raining, it's raining. So I, I was, but I was planning to go on Wednesday. This guy called me up in a panic term, sounded something just like your situation to some degree. And he said, uh, Reverend, you might not be, remember me, but you met me at the motels when y'all was feeding one time. You met me and uh, you said that if I ever need help, that you, you just call and, and we would, you would be there and the church would be there. He said, look, I need help. So I don't know what's going on. I'm working hard and I got a job and I don't have enough money to make it and everything is in turmoil. My wife left me and I, I can't see my kids. It's the, what, the, the world is bad. Yes. He said, I'm sick of it. That's what he told me. I'm tired of this. Yes, sir. That's how life gets sometimes, y'all. Yes, yes, sir. That's how life gets. That's the real deal. I know these young kids say, what? That's, that's what I got to face sometimes. I said, I told my wife, I said, well, that goes into my trip downstate. I called the guy up, had been setting up to meet him to do some work down there. 
And, and I said, I got to cancel my trip. He said, wait, wait, wait. I planned my day. I said, I always put church before work. That's what I told him. I put church before work. So I prayed to God and went and met the guy. And I, and I vaguely, vaguely remembered a glimpse of him, but I, I can't still, I, I remember seeing that face, but I can't say where I thought it. And I talked to him. And I said, listen here, uh, Solid Rock is not a church that just is a philanthropist church. We don't have that kind of money. That's right. But we'll help you what we can do. Says, but we'll do what we can. Amen. So, but what our help is to help you get on track with the Lord. That's, it. That's our way we work. We don't work just oh social service. Go to social service if you need them. Amen. They can give you some stuff. We 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 might try to help, but we we're not social service. Amen. We're here to change your heart to God Amen. because if you change the heart to God, then it changes a man and woman's walk. You hear what I'm saying now? Right. If you change your relationship with God, everything else gets aligned with God. Amen. Your life does, and people around you, it's different. I'm preaching. I ain't mean to preach at all. <laughs> God puts you on a place that you need to be. My, my. He will be the light to the lamp on your feet. He will show you which way to go. My Lord. And I told a young man, I said, look. And the Lord knows. The Lord knows he had this all planned. I, I'm telling you, he planned this thing. God had this thing planned. Because uh -huh. the church bus needed to be clean. Yes, sir. Am I right or wrong, brothers? The, the bus was in dirty shape. And we needed it for the trip. So I told a young man, I said, well... We were going to get somebody to clean the bus. Well, look like me, you can earn your, your little help here. So we, we got him, and he did a beautiful job with that bus. A beautiful job. Wonderful, sir. And I said to him, look, man, I know the wife thing is, uh, I, that thing is a tough thing, especially when you've been separated for a period of time and, and you know, other relationships form out of that, it, it can be a mess. Mm -hmm. I says, but I'm telling you now, if you put your focus on Christ and him crucified, I don't promise you, but I know that he will be by your side. Man. Tiffany, it's the same thing I say to you. If the focus becomes Christ-centered, yes, he makes things work. Mm -hmm. We are all here in here. We're a testimony of that. Yes, sir. Those of us who know the Lord are testimony that God will fix stuff if you let him fix it. Oh, yes. But see, here's the problem. Most people, when they want God to fix it, they want to bring the stuff with them that they had back in here. Uh -huh. You got to let that go. Yes, sir. Got to let that go. Yes, sir. Because you bring that in. What you're doing is messing up what you already got mm. with Christ. But that's what the person wants to do. Bring somebody up. No, let God redirect the pathway to whom he wants you to be in a relationship with. Mm. Yes, sir. That's where we have to be. And I told a young man, you do that. I thought he was going to be here today. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, believe me, the bus was supposed to run today, amen? Yeah. Uh -huh. And the only one came on the bus was Sister Alvary. I guess she came well, maybe in the car, but nobody else. We had about 10 people to pick up today. Uh -huh. And then they all, at the last minute, mm -hmm. they didn't call me to tell me they were quit, weren't going to be. I had to call them and check. <laughs> and each one of them said, no, I, I got something else I got to do. Well, well. And the bus was supposed to be running today. Mom, 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 mom. And so I had to call Kirk. Kirk was driving it for us. Yeah, yeah. I said, Kirk, all these cancellations. Lord, and if I didn't check last night at the last hour, I would never know because they wouldn't tell me. 
I said, Lord, help us. Help us. And so we, we have this battle going on. My sermon can tally into that. It's just give me time. And if you have your Bibles, I'm in, I'm in Mark, the sixth chapter, verses one through six. My topic is minimizing Jesus. Minimizing, minimizing Jesus. That's what has happened in the lives of many people. Jesus has been minimized. He hasn't been exalted like he should be. He has been minimized. You know what minimize means? I know you, 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 you probably don't know, but I'm going to tell you. Okay. Minimize means you've been brought to less than a favorable position. Put down. Yes. Lay down lower, not, not as a true value. Jesus has been minimized in the life of Many people, even Christians, he has not been given the full authority that he deserves to be. You have friends in your life. Your friends become sometimes more important than Jesus does. You start taking on friends that don't mean a hill of beans to you. Friends that just seem to be grabbers. Take advantage of you. Take what you can, then when you're done, they find another person. Those are not good friends. But you will choose them over Christ. So Jesus to many people is just not that important. When you allow friends to take over your relationship with Christ, you have minimized Jesus. When you allow people to, to dominate, the, the, instead of the word dominate, if you allow people to dominate, you have minimized Jesus. Jesus himself came here not minimized. He came here with neon lights flashing. Came and the Bible says that the angels the, uh, uh, the angels sang choir sang like a choir. When he came the, the Bible says that the wise men followed him yes. and sat down where he was going to be born. Yes. The neon lights were flashing. He was put in a place that babies should not have been in a cold, in, 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 in a cold place. Uh, they were in the, where the animals were, in the, in the shelving area for animals. They had a rough time. But he came with neon light flashing. Young people used to call it that California, expeditious Cal what's that? Expedocious. There you go. They used to call it that. He had all that going on. She got it right. She got it closer than anybody else in here. Super califraction expedocious. <laughs> yes. Jesus came as God in a man's body. He wasn't the father, but the father and him were one. Explain that to somebody. He wasn't the spirit, but he could vanish in the midst. He wasn't the spirit, but he could walk on water. Jesus maximized himself. But those around him did not understand him, and they tried to minimize Jesus. They even said once a time, is not this the carpenter's son? Mm -hmm. And his 
mother Mary and his brothers James and jo Joseph and Judas and Simon and they were all offended with Jesus. They thought he was lunatic at one occasion because he was telling everybody who he was and they thought he was embarrassing to his family. Jesus was embarrassing. And the reason why he was embarrassing to them because they had minimized Jesus. Some Christians had minimized him. They were embarrassed to tell somebody else that I go to church. When they get around certain people, they, they won't tell everybody who that I go to church. No. I don't, I don't, I don't let people know that. What they say, my, my uh, religion is in my heart. I don't, I don't let nobody know. And that's what Jesus said, go tell Tell somebody. But they, they know it's in my heart here. I don't know. If you're, if, you're, if you're a Christian, you need to tell somebody. I know it's getting a little hot in here. Hang in there, y'all. Hang in there. I remember when I was a youngster, I used to hear people say this. Don't hear it now. They would say, you're nothing, and now you never will be nothing. You used to hear that. I know this old lady across the street would tell us that when we cut across our grass. <laughs> Your boys are nothing, you never will be nothing. And your daddy ain't nothing either. She can say that to us. Yes, sir. Miss Liz, I don't know where she's at now. I mean, she dead, but I don't know where she at dead. Many uh, it's an amazing thing about Jesus. Some were embarrassed about him, but they were astonished at his words. You know the word astonished me? And the elders said and they listened to him and they would marvel at how much inf information he had, how he knew everything. But yet, they minimized him. Wait a minute. Astonished at his words, but yet minimizing him or who he was. That's, that's a hard thing to put together. Uh -huh. That's called diabolical scenario. How do you juxtapose those positions of him being this great savior and yet they don't love him? They don't honor him. Mm. How, do you, how do you put those two together? Well, it happened in heaven the same way. It's called pride and envy. Pride and envy. Satan tried to overthrow God in heaven. You know the story. He tried to overthrow God in heaven. And a third of the angels were cast out. God cast them out of heaven. But they had pride because Satan said, I am like God. God said, no, you're not. You, don't, you just don't know the half. Uh -huh. You're not smart enough to know it all. Uh -huh. And he threw Satan and a third of the angels out of heaven. Pride and envy. Amen. <laughs> Try to say that he was equal to God. But see, pride and envy is what the family of God, of, of Jesus, was saying down here. They, they thought they were better than Jesus. Say, so he, he ain't right. His own brothers and sisters turned their backs on him. Now, they, one, of, one or two finally came to it, but they, they, they were not mindful of him. The Bible says, things were so bad in that Jerusalem area and in that, and Nazareth, he said he couldn't do no mighty works. Except for heal a few sick people. Mm -hmm. That would be great for us. That's mighty works to us. Oh, yeah. Pride and envy is why a lot of folk have fallen away from God. Because once they got money in their pocket, and once they got a home, some of them big elaborate homes and all this stuff, they don't need no, they don't need God no more. They think they don't need him. But they're all messed up. Pride and envy will send a man to destruction. 
Pride and envy will send many of the kings, has sent many of their kings to demise. Jesus was not minimized because of their evil. He was minimized because of their lack of faith. Mm. Let, let, me, let me say that clear. And it, I'm going to hit this and I'm going to let you go. He, he was not because of their evil. He, he was minimized because these folk had not faith. The Bible said without faith, it's impossible, impossible yes. to please God. Well, what does that mean? Faith. Faith. The Bible says faith is the essence of things hoped for. Oh, Every thing not seen. Yes, sir. That's what faith is. Mm -hmm. Now, when you live by faith, that means you're living and trusting God. Mm -hmm. Faith is a trust is the, 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 the natural word for faith. Mm -hmm. Trust. You, you trust people around you, some of the folk in your home, you trust them. You trust your, your spouses. They trust you. you. That's trust. And many folk do not trust God in the way that he deserves to be trusted. Amen. You trust him when you you say that I know my situation is overwhelming. Overwhelming. But I know you're gonna make it work. Yes, That's trust. Yes, sir. And you walk. I ain't, ain't gotta worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. God said He's gonna do it. I'm trusting God. Yes. Do you trust God yes. there, like that? Because if you don't trust Him, then that means your faith is not where it needs to be. And the Bible says, "Faith cometh by what? Hearing. Yes. Hearing. Mm -hmm. Hearing." The word of God. Does faith come by me reading uh, a comic book? No. Does faith come by me reading the Constitution of the United States? No. Faith coming by hearing. Hearing the word of God. So if you're not reading the word and not hearing the word, your faith cannot multiply, nor can you be an effective Christian for the calling of the saints that God has put in you and, in you and me. Can't do it. You got to have faith. And that faith has to be demonstrated in the lives of God's children. Amen. Many lack of faith people Or reminds me of Cain and Abel's situation. Cain and Abel were brothers. And one of them gave an offering that was an excellent sacrifice. And one of them gave what he wanted. See, you, you, gotta, give, you gotta go by the word. God, God told him what was an excellent sacrifice. And Cain said, I'm giving you what I want you to have. God says, no, you give me what I tell you to give me. See, listen now. Many folk get all mixed up with tithes and offering. I ain't talking about tithes and offering. I'm talking about God is dedicating yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Offering yourself to God in the way that the book says here. The way this book says. Mm -hmm. And many Christians don't want to do that. There's a dedication that comes to a relationship with Christ. You got to dedicate yourself to him. And he will see that everything works out right. But when you don't dedicate, you have minimized God. I know none of you here want to do that. All of us want to try to give God our best. But when we minimize him, we place him in a position with handcuffs on him. He can't do all that he wants to do for you. You hear what I'm saying? He cannot do all that he said that he would do because his word is true. God's got to follow the word. And he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right? If you love me, keep my word. 
And if you don't love me, then obviously you're not keeping the word. But many Christians think, well, God, since God loves me anyway, he's going to do for me. No, God has a word that you got to follow. God has a word that you have to follow. One more thing. God has given you and I sustaining power Amen. if we do not minimize him. Sustaining. In other words, we can stand in the struggles of life and he will see us through. Sustain you. He will keep Amen. you. He will strengthen you. Yes, he will build you yes, up. He will make you better than you ever been before. Yes, sir. He will be the author and finish of your faith. My God. He will direct your pathway. Uh -huh. He will guide you. He said, I'll walk with you. You just got to trust God. You got to trust him. Don't minimize God. The world minimizes God. That's why the world is in such turmoil. Your home will be in turmoil when you minimize God. Because he's going to let you go through some stuff that you didn't want to go through. God didn't have that for you, but he said, your actions, I have to respond to your actions. If I'm going to go around and call myself a preacher, and I'm not going to be obedient to God's word, how can I be blessed by God and even bring this to, to God's people if I am not obedient to it? But that's what some preachers are today. I, I know they are. Some of them are there. The, the, oh, the number of preachers that are falling away is astounding. Yes, sir. Astounding, y'all, mm -hmm. because they have not stood on this thing. They want to preach it and want to live a certain way outside of it. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. This is, this, is, this is information is out there about preachers. And many of them have fallen by the wayside in the last few years. It's one of the worst times for preachers right now. And then what it does, it opens the door for somebody else to, a short, they call them a charlatans, to, to come in and just start preaching. And they don't even know nothing. God didn't guide them, but they're doing it. And so now, then you got people sitting under listening to crazy stuff. And can do what they want to do. You, you see them on TV. All doing a, a, a check up, a check up, a shop, a check up. <laughs> Jump. That ain't God. He said, don't speak in tongues unless there's an what? An interpreter. Well, how are you going to be praying on somebody without an interpreter speaking in tongues? It's lying. It's a mess. That's where we are today. The church has lost its guide because these people are coming in and anybody sits down and starts a church said, I got a church going on. You better watch them. Watch them who pray over you. Don't let everybody pray over you. They could have a demon in them. You hear what I'm saying? But church people now, I'm happy. You go ahead and pray for me. You don't know who you praying for you. Don't let everybody pray over you. But church people don't understand that. Oh no, no. God, God knows, and God, His Word tells you. Depart from them who are workers of iniquity. Depart from them. Don't let them be in your life. That's God's word, church. Don't minimize God. Because God will, in effect, minimize you. Amen. Don't minimize God. Don't minimize him. Amen. Give him all the glory. Absolutely. Give him all the praise. My God. Yes. Worship him mm -hmm. in spirit yes. and in truth. Yes. Let him be your God. 
Let him be your director. Amen. 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 Let's got a hand praise church, please. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That might be somebody who wants to give their life to Jesus. Somebody who's ready to say, for Christ, I live, for Christ I die. I'm ready to dedicate myself to him. Is there somebody here that wants to dedicate their life to Christ? You might be online. If you're online and you want to dedicate yourself to Christ, call our, our number, 302-593-8978. 302-593-8978. And we will lead you to salvation. The Bible says that every man must be born again. Yes. You can't go to Christ except you'll be born again. There's no other way to God except through Christ Jesus and the act of being born again. So we open our doors to you who accept Christ. We open our doors for those who are already born again but looking for a church home. We open our doors for you. Is that somebody? Is that somebody? All right, here comes somebody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God. Is there anybody else that wants to give their life to Jesus? Anybody who wants to come in? Anybody? We're, our doors are open for you. If all hearts and minds are clear, we're going to, before our benediction, we're going to allow this brother to give his life. Amen. Hold one second. Brother, I knew was coming. That was your church home? Okay, so. Okay. So, how do you do it? You feel you're born again? You feel you're born again? Let's make sure you're coming. Let's see what's coming. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes, come on, brother. Come on here. This brother's been visiting our church for a period of time. Long while has been visiting. Years. Been visiting here with his fiance. We thank God for him. And I just didn't know when it was going to happen, but I'm glad to see that he's saying I want to make sure that I have a relationship here with Christ. Amen. Now he comes from a church in uh, Pottstown that he was a member of. And he's now looking to shore up things and putting things in the right perspective. Amen. And we are here with that. Amen. 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 So we're going to pray for him and accept him in his favor that he has given his life to Christ and that he's dedicated to it and rededicating himself to Christ. Amen. 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 Deacons, come forward. Come and get help. Put your hands on my. Dear brother, and uh, praise God. Put your hands on his shoulders, brothers. Put your hands on his shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Father God, we ask your blessing on this brother. We ask your blessing upon God who has made a de dedication to you. We ask your God to fix the situation that he has in his life. Yes. We all have situations. We all have things that we need to correct. So God, whatever you see that our brother is in need of, we're asking in the name of Jesus yes. that you would fix and make whole. In the name of Jesus. Bless his job, bless his transportation, bless his family, but bless his will to serve you Please, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, God. We love you and we adore you. Your word declares that when a brother has made a direction, and we are to honor him. Yes. Brother Vaughn, you believe that Jesus died for your sins, amen? You believe that he rose again. He believes that Jesus died for him and that Jesus rose again. And the Bible says, any man that believe it, the same shall be saved. So he has already received him in the name of Jesus. I 
God. Now, God, go with him. Protect him and keep him is our prayer. Oh, Lord, my God. Anoint him from the bottom of his feet to the sole, from the sole of his feet to the top of his head. Bless the brother. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bless you, brother. Bless you. Amen. 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 Any team members, any leadership team want to give brother a hand, you can do that right now. Amen. Amen. Brother Paul, praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. We haven't had one of them in a long time. We've been in starvation mode. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God for him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Father God, we thank you. We praise you for all that you make possible. Go with us and keep us as our prayer. Down to him, who keep us from falling and present us faultless before his soon coming. Be glory, majesty, power, and dominion, hit for now, forever. All of God children say amen. 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 Give my hand, praise church. Amen. amen. I don't have any more keys for the bus. Yeah. You do? Yeah, there in my. Okay. Yeah, they're in the, uh, I, I, they're, in my, they're in my truck. Like they were down here, that's why I came. Yeah, I thought, I thought we had like about three or four of them. No, no, uh, no, no, just two. One, one, yeah, you're saying you got one set with key here. That's it. Okay, I only got the one key though. You got the one with the door, the right. fuel tank. Right, right, right. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you.